Welcome to the future of communication. The world of 5G, the fifth generation of cellular networks is set to change the way we live, work and connect with the world around us. 5G, or fifth generation cellular networks, promise faster speeds, lower latency, and increased capacity compared to previous generations of cellular networks. But what makes 5G different from previous generations of cellular networks? and make it a revolutionary technology of our time. Let's find out. Electromagnetic spectrum refers to the radio frequencies used in the mobile network. It does an incredible job of invisibly carrying data across the world. Our eyes can only see visible light which is a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, x-rays and visible light are different types of radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. Frequency is the rate by which a wave repeats itself per second and is measured in hertz. Frequency is how often the wave's hills go up and down. Just like how a jump rope can be wiggled fast, making the hills go up and down quickly, or slow, making the hills go up and down less often. In the same way, radio waves can be sent many times in a short amount of time, which is called a high frequency, or less often, which is called a low frequency. It's like the difference between a song that has a fast beat and one that has a slow beat. Wavelength is like the distance between two hills and a wave. Just like how the distance between two hills can be big or small, the wavelength of a radio signal can be big or small too. When the distance between two hills is big, the wave is spread out and when the distance between two hills is small, the wave is more swished together. Spectrum refers to the range of radio frequencies used for wireless communication. Frequency bands refer to specific ranges of radio frequencies that are allocated for different types of wireless communication. These frequency bands are used to transmit and receive signals, and each band has its own unique characteristics, such as its wavelength and capacity to transmit data. The main frequency bands used in 5G are low band, this is a lower frequency band similar to the frequencies used in 4G networks. It typically ranges from 600 MHz to 1 GHz. Low band radio waves can travel long distances and penetrate buildings, making them highly prized by carriers looking for reliable coverage. Mid band, this is a frequency band that is between sub 6 GHz and millimeter waves, typically ranging from 2 to 6 GHz. It offers a balance between speed and coverage. High band or millimeter waves. Low and mid band spectrums can't carry as much data as higher frequency waves. That's why 5G networks will also use the so-called millimeter wave spectrum, which has wavelengths so small they are measured in millimeters. A higher frequency band ranges from 24 to 100 gigahertz. It is capable of providing very high speeds and capacity. However, the coverage area is relatively small, so it is typically used in densely populated areas such as cities. These radio waves can carry a huge amount of data but don't travel far, which means builders need to place many small cells close together to use this spectrum. Data is transmitted on a radio signal using a process called modulation. Modulation is the process of encoding information onto a radio signal. There are several different types of modulation that can be used, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. The most common types of modulation used in wireless communication are amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. A more advanced type of modulation is quadrature amplitude modulation, which uses a combination of amplitude and phase modulation to transmit multiple bits of data at once. In 5G wireless communication systems, quadrature amplitude modulation is used in the physical layer to transmit data over the air interface. There are different types of QAM, such as 16QAM, 32QAM, 64QAM, and 256QAM. The use of different types of QAM in 5G enables the network to adapt to different channel conditions and support different services, such as low latency, high bandwidth, and low power use cases. 5G, or fifth generation cellular networks, utilize a variety of technologies, and some of the main technologies other than modulation used in 5G include multiple input, multiple output. MIMO uses multiple antennas at the transmitter and receiver to improve the capacity and coverage of the network. Typical MIMO is about 2 to 4 antennas for receipt of radio signals between receiver and transmission. In 5G, MIMO is referred to as Massive MIMO, which uses 96 to 128 antennas for both transmitter and receiver to increase capacity even further. 
Beamforming uses multiple antennas to focus the radio signals in a specific direction, improving the coverage and capacity of the network. This causes radio wave transmission to be focused and more specific. You can think of it as using a laser beam instead of a light bulb. Orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, in OFDM the data is divided into multiple subcarriers, which are then modulated with the data and transmitted simultaneously on different frequencies. You can think of it as a shower dividing water into multiple streams to increase the overall flow rate, this allows for the efficient use of bandwidth by allowing multiple data streams to be transmitted over the same frequency band simultaneously. Small cells are low-powered cellular base stations that are used to increase capacity and coverage in densely populated areas. The typical range for 5G network deployments is expected to be between 100 and 350 cell sites per square kilometer, which is significantly denser than the density of cell sites required for 4G networks. The reason for this high density is to improve the signal strength, reduce the latency, and increase the network's capacity. Network slicing is a feature of 5G networks that is similar to a VPN and allows for the creation of multiple virtual networks on top of a shared physical infrastructure. Each virtual network, or slice, can be customized to meet the specific requirements of different types of users or applications. Each slice can have its own set of policies, quality of service, and security requirements and can be managed independently. 5G networks rely heavily on virtualization and cloud technologies to support the high throughput, low latency, and massive number of connected devices. With 5G, streaming high-quality video, playing online games, and downloading large files will be faster and smoother than ever before. 5G also has the potential to revolutionize industries such as manufacturing, transportation, and healthcare. With low latency and high reliability, 5G networks will enable the use of automation systems and the Internet of Things in these industries. In healthcare, 5G networks will enable remote consultations and surgeries, making medical care more accessible and efficient. 5G will also pave the way for the widespread adoption of virtual and augmented reality technologies, allowing for new ways of learning, entertainment, and communication. As 5G networks continue to roll out and more devices become 5G compatible, we are on the cusp of a new era of connectivity. The future is here and the possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.